on succulent growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, this is a video request by a wonderful subscriber called Cameron Burnett. And he wanted me to do a bit of an update on how my Ulbermania Pectinifera looks today. Now, this is my Ulbermania here. Absolutely awesome and very special cactus. And this is one I've had for about 10 years. I got it from a, a wonderful grower called Michael Harrington here in Ireland. And he was very lucky to get some of these cacti that have been grown on their own roots, so it's not grafted, um, from a nursery, I think, in Europe. And of course, when he told me he got some, I snapped one up. And it has grown a lot for me. I mean, when I got it, it was a lot more globular in shape. And as it's grown now, especially over the past two to three years, it's growing sort of more columnar. That's the size of it with my hand there. Still quite small because it's quite a small growing cactus, but it's one that does grow more columnar over time. Nearly always grafted. Very happy to have this one on its own roots. Does really well for me. And I have made a complete video about, about this Obermania and how I care for it and how you can care for it too. So I'm not going to go about how to care for this cactus in this video. This is just an update on it. So do check out the video I've made on how to care for Orbomania. I'll link that video up above and also down below in the video description. I've also made an article as well a few years ago on my website about the Orbomania cactus and how to care for it. So I'll also link the, the link to the website article as well down below in the video description. So do check it out if you want to know a bit more about this amazing cactus and also how to care for it. Now, I just want to mention this is one of the tropical type of cacti. It's not a care video search, but I just have to mention this. It's one that's a bit similar to mellow cactus in how it likes its care. In other words, it needs winter warmth and it also does not like to go all through the entire winter bone dry like the desert type of cacti do. This is one of the very few cacti other than my epiphytes that I will still give a slight bit of water to in winter. Usually about every six weeks I would just spray it with a water spray and let the water drip down these grooves here and just go lightly into the base just to stop the roots from dying back. A bit like how you treat mellow cactus. And as I say, this is a tropical one, so it needs a minimum winter temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 Celsius. So that's why I overwinter this one in my grow room with all my other cacti and succulents that need more winter warmth. And I have this normally in the window, in the south facing window there. And uh, it gets plenty of sunshine and overwinters very well. Then I put it back out into the polytunnel for the spring and summer months and it goes a gorgeous deep plum colour because when you get in the sun and the heat it goes a gorgeous deep plum colour with a lovely sparkly sheen to it and then in the winter months it sort of greens back up again as you can see pretty pest free as well never have a problem with pests on this this seems to be a very uh, good cactus for that and uh, as I say, a wonderful, wonderful, unique little cactus. Probably not good if you're new to cacti and you're begin. You know, I wouldn't recommend this for beginners because it's quite a. It's a cactus that can require special care. As I say, it's more tropical. So if you get one of these and put it out in the greenhouse, it could rot with cold temperatures. Saying that, I do know many growers that have theirs in an unheated greenhouse here in Ireland and they've, they've been able to grow it. But theirs are nearly always grafted, if they're all grafted. And if it's on a grafted rootstock such as Trichoceros, it can withstand a lot of cold temperatures more. This is grown on its own roots, so it's absolutely essential that it's overwintered in a warm, warm place for the winter months. So there you go. Thank you, Cameron, for the for the um, video request. And as I say, guys, do check out the video I've made on this cactus on how to care for it, as well as the article. And if you want to know a little bit more about this amazing cactus, and it's a wonderful one to add to the uh, cactus collection. But as I say, probably when you're a little bit more experienced, because beginners who grow this don't always have success if it's on its own roots now because it can be rot prone as a lot of the rare more unique type of cacti can be so thanks so much for watching everyone for lots more tips and tricks on how you can care for and grow many different types of cacti supplements then please do subscribe to my channel don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos you can also follow me on instagram twitter and facebook at desert plants of avalon and for more growing tips do check out the many articles on different types of cactus on my website desert plants of avalon 
Com. I want to wish you all a fantastic Cactus Power Day! Bye!